2021 new today. The other top Democratic candidates in the mayoral primary concede to Eric Adams. Adams crossing over that 50% mark in the latest ranked choice voting count. Now Maya Wiley and Catherine Garcia speaking in Manhattan earlier today. News 12's Katie Vasquez joins us from Midtown to tell us what they had to say about the race. It was just a razor thin margin that Catherine Garcia says kept her from winning the Democratic primary. Now that her and Maya Wiley are out, they're both grateful to make it this far. In Central Park, Catherine Garcia stood near the Women's Rights Pioneers Monument, meeting with supporters after handing the win to Eric Adams. She says she called Adams this morning to congratulate him. Many doubted her chances at all, and she appreciates making it this far along with another female candidate, Maya Wiley campaign has come closer than any other moment in history to breaking that glass ceiling and selecting New York City's first female mayor. We cracked the hell out of it and it's ready to be broken, but we have not cracked that glass ceiling. Meanwhile, Wiley was in the Upper West Side near the Lucerne Hotel. She also accepted the loss, but says being a woman of color and making it this far is a feat to be celebrated. She's happy with Adams win, who could be only the second black mayor in New York City. It has tremendous meaning for so many New Yorkers, particularly black people. Now, Adams will face Republican candidate Curtis Sliwa in the general election in November. The Guardian Angels founder spoke criticizing Eric Adams. He claims that Adams hasn't been out in the community as much as he's claimed to be. Eric Adams has said in an interview that when he becomes mayor, he's going to ride the subways, he's going to walk the streets, and he used as an example Mayor John Lindsay. Why wait? We reached out to Adams' campaign on the challenge by Sliwa. Wiley and Garcia hoping to work with whoever becomes the new mayor on issues such as gun violence, homelessness, and the foster care system. Again, the general election is scheduled for Tuesday, November 2nd. In Manhattan, Katie